Alright, it's time for some mutiny on the bounty with penguins. This is one of my favorite levels in the game, and this is where the game kind of kicks into high gear in a way. Uh, but yeah, let's well, Marty, see what's going on here. Happy now. Maybe I am happy. Maybe this is the good kind of capture, where they take you to exciting places and shower you with gifts and sing songs. Why you always have to be so negative, Alex? Oh, right. The good kind of capturing. Yeah, this is the most palatial crate I think I've ever been stuffed into. Sure feel sorry for those poor saps and coach. Look, I don't remember twisting anybody's arm to come with me on this quest. Could you guys please cut it out? This is not helping my sciatica. Would you guys quit belly again? Let's just try to stay positive and proactive. Here, I know. I spy with my little eye something dark. Oh, that's just great. Shh. But I... Shh. What was that? Well, it definitely wasn't me. All right, men. Now that we're out of those cells, let's proceed to our next objective. And what is our next objective, Skipper? You're a step ahead of me, soldier. Hijacking this boat to Antarctica is looking like the plan. Anyone else have an idea? I personally would consider overthrowing the ship's captain and crew as well. Yeah, that's kind of what I meant by hijacking, Kowalski. You boys stay here and hold the fort while I scout ahead. I'll let you know when it's okay to move up. You scout ahead to find a rendezvous point, then call us up. So yeah, uh, the gimmick of this level is that you are Skipper, and there are boys, and you need to kill the boys. I think the what they say you're doing is knocking them out. That seems to be in like children's video games. That seems to be the uh, you know the the kind of. If you, if you want to make a video game where, you know, you have to beat enemies and stuff, it's easier to do it with... It's better to do it with... Looks like you're gonna have to find a key to open... Oh, I had to open the fucking gate first. I'm stupid. Alright, now I can do it. I thought you just needed the key in the next part. Uh, and yeah, there's a cutscene every single time that they do this. After you kill all the boys in the area, then... Uh, you have to call your boys over so that they can follow you. Um, and yeah, I'm just gonna- I'm gonna be skipping the vast majority of those types of things. And yeah, it does not matter at all if these people see you. Uh, you can just kind of get them immediately. Uh, the big dude over here, not this guy. Uh, this guy over here. That sailor looks like he's got a few extra Y chromosomes. I better be careful around tough guys like that. Yeah, so you can't just go up and hit him. Uh, you're gonna have to find some other means of, of doing that. But yeah, I love this level. Um, I like playing as the penguins. Uh, I wish that you did it more in this game. This is the only level where you play as anybody but the four main characters, which I guess it is probably the only part of the game that makes a lot of sense for that. Hut, 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 hut. Uh -oh. Uh oh. Oh, what? how'd you get over there, you weirdo? Alright, um, I think... I think I know I what I need to do. Up here I open this pipe. Oh, okay, maybe that's this not yet. Oh, it's already crane time. I didn't even know that. Oh, this is gonna... Yeah, this part's great. So, I think I was saying earlier in... It might have not even been this LP, now I think about it, but I was talking about how there are so many games okay, so that I played today. as a kid and that I still play to this day now, that are probably not, like, so the best made games or anything, uh, and maybe are even not quite not good, <laughs> um, and especially, like, licensed games life. based on stuff, uh, but they just have things that are silly and satisfying uh, that you can do in them. And that's ultimately what I give a shit about, 
in a video game, even if I think it sucks, like... Hey, I'm not insured! Yeah, just go in the water. Um, like, picking up dudes and, and, and dropping them in the water is fucking funny. Like, I don't know, what do you want me to do about it? Alright, do they get here? Okay. You motherfuckers take a long time to get over here. And then I've also talked about how, uh, I love sounds in games that are just very satisfying. And, uh, this level has a lot of them. And this game in general, I really like the sound effects in it. Um... Yeah, I'm a big fan of, uh, the... Hitting the... the dude. Hitting the guy's, uh, sounds. Uh, when you, when you hit the sailor men. And, yeah, it's a good level. I'm in kind of a, a weird mood uh, all of this week, so I apologize if my uh, commentary is quite stunted. And yeah, it's just a bunch of penguin bullshit. Um, so these guys are really dumb. Like, I'm literally beating the shit out of this dude's friend right in front of him, and that's a great face. That's funny. Uh, and yeah, he do not know anything, so... What you gotta do... So you gotta go in the laboratory. I used to, when I was a kid, um... In my school, all of the, uh, bathrooms were labeled lavatory. And I would always think it said laboratory. So, we're in Dexter's lavatory now. And if I'm not mistaken, you should be able to find what I need in here. Yeah, so you get the key, and apparently they have a button that makes all of the urinals explode with shit. And yeah, some more sailors just appear out of nowhere. Something's wrong with our plumbing. Oh, I'm not cleaning this up. <laughs> I remember all of those lines vividly all the time. I think about them all the time. The something's wrong with our plumbing. Yeah, and they're just chilling now. I'm just lock them in there. Yeah, and I love this, uh. I love a little spin or slide move that he can do. I don't know why they didn't do more stuff with the penguins in this game. I mean, I guess they are fairly removed from the actual plot for the most part. They kind of just swoop in. That's sort of how they've been in all three of the movies. I won't necessarily always say that they're a deus ex machina, but uh, they have served that purpose several times. And they usually are, like... I guess you could say they are the actual... I, would I... Would I say that the... That they were the instigators of the plot in the first game? I don't really know about that. I guess they're the instigators of the plot in the second movie. I think it's a game first time, whatever. I think they were the instigators of the plot in the second movie. Because they built the plane, right? The plane that crashes, but, but like, I don't know. I I mean, the animals wanted like Alex and Marty and all of them, like wanted to go there, like they wanted to leave, but it was penguins who did it. So Let's roll. Double time. this is what happens when you apply like formal screenwriting, like, <laughs> approaches to screenwriting and structure to, like, children's movies where, you know, so, is, does the plot begin with the penguins, uh, building the plane, or does it begin with, like, I don't know, Alex deciding to be Bernie Mac's son? I don't know. I don't know what I'm talking about. I'm going insane. I'm just enjoying playing this level, honestly. I don't have much to say about it other than that I enjoy it. Hey, I'm not 
This is why you have to play games that piss me off and that I'm bad at, because then I can just spend the whole time complaining or talking about other things. I mean, I guess I could talk about other things right now. I could talk about how I was at Made in America over the weekend. My girlfriend's boss. Oh wait, I don't want to. I want to get these coins before I fuck with you. You can stay there. Cause yeah, there's shit over here that I want. Hell yeah, I want them coins. Found my coins like Mario. But uh, and I think you can get these, but I'm just gonna get them anyway. I'll just leave this dude to shake his fist at the sky. But yeah, my girlfriend's boss gave us uh, tickets for free to Made in America in Philly, and we saw some people, and it was cool. Oh yeah, I guess it's time to actually complete the level now. Alright, you get to be in the cage. You've been a well-behaved little boy, so you don't have to drown in the ocean. <laughs> this is an E-rated game. Or it might be E10, now that I think about it. I forget that E10 exists. Sometimes. Oh yeah, I forgot about this. What if I put him in the cage with the dude? Like, you're fucked. Uh, but, I yeah, I don't have much to say about it. We kind of just stood around and listened. We didn't really get into the thick of it or anything like that. And we weren't there the whole time. I will say, um, I felt like a fucking 50-year-old man while I was there, because the first day of it, which was Saturday, I had not heard of, like, pretty much any of the performers. And, like, I consider myself a person who pays attention to the new music coming out. I may not listen to all of it actively, but, uh, you know, I know generally... If, if something is popular enough that they would have, like, a major set at something like Made in America. I, like, I would usually know it, I feel like. But, um... This place is getting pretty crowded. It's... I, I don't know. I heard all these names, like... Kazo and... Like, I can't even remember what they were. They sound like made-up names. They were like... You know... And they didn't even sound like rapper names, like normal rapper names. They sounded like weird, I don't even know. Here, this is amazing. These people are just like, oh, just the normal walking uh, bowling pin box that walks through here sometimes. Ooh, if I could just get to that tranquilizer. Oh, that's another staple of children's games is you know, you want guns, because video games have guns. And, uh, but you can't have, you know, an E-rated game where you're fucking shooting people in the face. So you do stuff like tranquilizers or, like, laser things. In the, uh, Atlantis Square Pantis video game, you drive a tank that just shoots ice cream. And yeah, that was, like, the easiest shooting section ever. But yeah, I literally felt like a middle-aged man because I was like, Who, who's, you know, uh, you know, Boinker Dinky or whatever these fucking weird-ass names are. Uh, did get I get the key? Find the key? No. Alright, so the zoo man, who is not dead from the statue that I knocked on to him, knocked over onto him, uh, he is not dead, he is sitting in this sex dungeon of his on the ship on high alert obviously scanning the room for anything that may look suspicious like an animal in a box perhaps i want to look take a look at this room i've never actually looked at it this is pretty dope this tapestry looks like he's in a college dorm this is less interesting i want to know what this is is this like his dresser this is very low res. This is why I call it a sex dungeon. Because this and the horns make me... This is very tribalistic. I don't know. I don't know what he's keeping in there. I'm just gonna keep the box on me. I'm gonna do an all box run of this game. Oh wait, there's some shit in the lockers that I didn't get to get. I wanna open these. These lockers are kinda weird to open because they like push you out of the way. 
And also, uh, Skipper doesn't control, like, amazingly. I mean, it's perfectly fine, but he just moves weird. <laughs> like, this is me tw uh, twirling the control stick around, ready? Like, this is just me going in a circle, and he's, he's not doing that. He's just kind of waddling around aimlessly. But yeah, it doesn't matter at all uh, that you're just going headfirst in these guys. Can you get up on the bed? No. It would be funny if you could wake these people up. And I guess the fucking trumpet taps don't uh, wake them up. Unfortunately, we do not have another crane section. This is the last little bit of this level. I'm sorry if it hasn't been as exciting and enjoyable to watch as it has Next been for me to bridge. play. Let's go. There's the door to the bridge. I don't exactly know how this all worked out. Did they come up with me? Well, either way. This is it, boys. What we've been working for. Let's take it. Now hold on there. This is the end of the line for you ducks. Did he call it? I heard you criticizing my yeah. decor. Get the tranquilizer. Eat my darts. I like how he waits for you to get the gun. Like you can take as long as you want with that. And once again, the zoo hunter is not difficult to beat. Only difference now is that you got some sailors that are also not difficult to beat. You also barely have to even shoot them. Like, I don't know if you've been noticing, but like... Like, yeah, I didn't even hit his head there, but... And just as long as you have it above them, then... You'll, uh, you'll hit him. Like, while they're on the ground, you your bullets don't even reach them. I guess I'm... yeah, uh, you don't even really have to hit them. And the Zoo Hunter is even more of a nothing... Uh, threat. I don't even know if his bullets hit you here. Like, if they actually take damage or anything. Or you take damage from them. <laughs> Just picking them off. There you go. And I don't know if they like throw him overboard or whatever, but that's the last that we hear of the zoo hunter. Unless he makes some like weird comeback in the Escape to Africa game, which I've played and beaten. It just not since it came out, which was like over ten years ago. Master the ship's controls and guide us safely to Antarctica. This reminds me of on the original Madagascar DVD, uh, they had like a couple, all the scenes with the penguins you could watch with commentary from the penguins, and so the scene where they overthrow the ship is one of them. And uh, uh, the, the part where um, Private is like just dancing on the controls trying to figure them out, uh, Skipper goes, what are you doing playing Tetris? Funny jokes. Alright, so yeah, looks like we're going to be exploring a mysterious jungle next time. It's almost- I wonder where the story of this game is going. Will our heroes wash up on the shore of an island, perhaps? Maybe an island called Madagascar? Yes.